The UN Security Council has voted to send a Kenyan-led multinational security force to Haiti to help its government combat violent gangs, which have driven the Caribbean country into anarchy. The resolution, drafted by the United States, was approved with 13 votes in favor and two abstentions from China and the Russian Federation. So China doesn't want the Kenyans to go to Haiti, and so does Russia, while the other members of the UN Security Council, 13 of them, want Kenya to go to this country, Haiti. And China gave their reasons. They insisted that they feel that the Kenyans have no idea the kind of gangs they are facing. And they, they also have doubt that the Kenyans will be able to stabilize the security in that island nation. And as for the Russians, they say that the UN should have first sent a fact-finding mission to Haiti to assess the situation on the ground before deployment of any force. So they say that alongside China that they feel the Kenyans are being set up to fail by the United States. So that is what they see. And a lot of people are of the same opinion. I was on TikTok and I've seen videos from people from formerly in Haiti who are living outside that country saying that Haiti is a very dangerous country and people there have nothing to lose. They say that the people in Haiti, in Haiti they don't have schools, hospitals, good buildings and bridges to protect so they can burn that country to the ground because the gangs there know that the country has nothing to lose, so they are going to fight the Kenyans to the last man. And how we got here is that the country Haiti has a population of 11 million and a police force of less than 10,000 uh, police officers and half of them are compromised. You know, they belong to these gangs. During the day, he's in uh, they are wearing the police uniform pretending to be police officers but at night they are fighting for these gangs so they are gang members because poverty in that country is one of the highest and the gangs because they do smuggle drugs across through haiti to the united states they're able to afford to buy just anyone including the police officers so that is the country that kenya is sending 1000 police officers to and if you look at this drone footage here, look at the contrast between Haiti and the neighboring Dominican Republic. Remember Haiti shares the island of Hispaniola with another country called the Dominican Republic. So on the eastern side you have the DR, on the western side you have Haiti. And the two countries are totally you know, different, you know, contrasting. Haiti has nothing. They don't even have a government as I speak right now uh, that is officially there. They have gangs running the country, while the Dominican Republic is a favorite tourist destination. So you have to understand that. And remember from history, Christopher Columbus discovered this island. It was the first land he discovered when he made his uh, trip to find the shortest route to India. And he came upon this land and he thought that he has arrived in India. But later on, he discovered it wasn't India, but he named the island Hispaniola, meaning New Spain or Spain, because the mission at the time was sponsored by Spain. But now you understand, this is the country that Kenya wants to send their police officers to. Very different country. And the next video I'm going to show you is about the Kenyan police officers training for the mission. Now, don't let the uniform fool you. These are not Kenyan army, the KDF, the Kenyan Defense Force. These are the Kenyan police officers, also known as the GSU or General Service Unit, part of the administration police in Kenya. You know, so it's a specialized paramilitary under the police in Kenya. So they are training for the mission in Haiti and their commanding officers are also taking French language because one of the problems they are going to face in Haiti is the language barrier. In Haiti they speak French because they are they were formerly colonized by France. They also speak 
a Creole version there. So the Kenyans don't know those two languages, so they'll need someone to translate or interpret for them. And that's why the Jamaicans and the Antiguans and the Bahamas are sending their for police officers alongside the Kenyans to do that kind of interpretations. 